really excited about showing you this dish. Um, it's a dish that I've cooked quite a lot lately uh, for dinner parties, particularly because it presents so well. But today I'm going to take it up a notch a little, and I'm actually going to turn it into a celebratory dish. With Chinese New Year having just been, a lot of Chinese like getting together, particularly the business people, and they eat a dish called lo hei. It's actually using raw fish, a lot of raw ingredients as well, pickles and whatnot. And everyone comes around the table and they start tossing this. And the higher you toss, the more prosperous you're going to be. Uh, and you invite lots of good wealth and good fortune into your life. So let me show you how to do it. I've just got here an incredibly fresh piece of Tasmanian salmon. I'm actually going to show you how to barrel out the fish. We're going to take out this portion of it. Um, we're then also going to keep the belly for a surprise. So here we go. Start from the middle, one motion or as few a motion as possible down the bottom and then slide your way over the skin. So get as close as possible to the skin, but leave a lot of the bloodlines there. So here you've got a really nice piece of fillet. So now to clean the rest of it. Get your knife really close to the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to keep this for a surprise. If you haven't tried crispy fish skin, you have to. It is such a great um, element because it adds some saltiness, a bit of crispiness. It's really lovely. So knife at an angle. Just slide your way through to get as much of the skin as possible off. Fantastic. So how do we make this beautiful crispy skin? Get two trays, line the bottom one up with, um, with foil, a little bit of olive oil, pour a little bit on. So put it down and then turn it over. So skin side down, nicely salted. Just salt it well. Now, another piece of foil, put it over the top and then get another pan, place it right on top, keep it flat and then it goes straight into the oven. I've got a blue plate here that I'm going to use for the salmon and on the dish, I've got some shredded carrots, um, some shredded daikon, some shredded chilies because I love chilies, shredded ginger and some shredded spring onions. But what I'm also gonna to add to this are these beautiful baby herbs. I mean, they're so yummy and they're so beautiful. So for a celebratory dish, this is just the perfect thing accompaniment, I say. Now, when you're slicing the fish, I've just had these sitting over ice. They're really nice and fresh. And also it aids cutting as well, slicing the fish. Get a really sharp knife, top down, and keep them reasonably thick because we're going to make a dressing after that that's quite strong. And I'm, I'm going to do an extra one. We're going to be using some dark vinegar, some dark soy, ginger, chili oil. Wonderful. Time to plate up. So I'm going to use this plate. It's beautiful. It's blue and it works really well against the color of the salmon. Bit of chopstick work now. It gets a bit fiddly, so it's kind of nice to actually work with chopsticks. The idea is to try and get fish on every little bit. Just get a bit of the salad elements on every little bit so that when you actually pick up the fish, you'll get a little bit of everything. I'm gonna squeeze this little fella in here. Okay, I'm gonna park this for the moment and we're gonna go straight on to the dressing. So I've got a bit of dark soy here, tablespoon. Then some black vinegar. Man, this is a pantry staple. So about the same amount, about a tablespoon. Chili oil, my favorite chili oil. About a tablespoon. And in here, I've already had some chopped up ginger. We're gonna just balance out the dressing with a little bit of sweetness, not too much. So not much sugar and we'll see how we go. What I've also got here is some chopped up chilies. I'm gonna put that a little bit of that in, not a whole lot. <sighs> Look at this, it looks so good. I'm gonna try it. Brilliant. Now, let's put this together. So, I'm gonna pile this right in the middle. I wanna make this statement of um, um, abundance and wealth, and that's what the Chinese love, you know. Bit of carrot, bit of daikon, bit of ginger, a little bit of uh, spring onions, bit of chili. In fact, I'm not gonna put too much chili it's just for kind of color more than anything. Now we've got the um, micro herbs. I love shiso, I think shiso works really well. Don't go too low, because you're gonna get a lot of the root. 
So pile them up on top. We're done with that one. Let's go to the baby shiso. This actually adds amazing flavor to the dish. It's really quite delicious. It feels good. I feel prosperous putting this dish together. A little bit of um, shallots, crispy shallots that you can get from all your supermarket, Asian supermarket. And voila, fantastic. I'm gonna crumble them here. I'm gonna put the dressing on first and then crumble this over the top. Here we go, dressing goes over the top. Let's put it over the fish. Oh, it, this, it just looks so amazing. Beautiful, fish skin over the top. Okay, we're gonna low hay this now and I'll show you how to do it. It's, it's really fun, so get a few friends around the house. So pretend this is someone and pretend this is someone else. And what you all do is stand around the table, get your chopsticks and you wanna just toss it and hopefully all of it stays on the plate. So just toss it. Kinda looks like a bit of a mess, but it's all about prosperity. So it's just tossing it high. And there we go. Low hay, my way. Mm, just divine.